Hello everyone, I am Utshab Niyogi from Department of Physics, Nataji Shobhash Mohavid Dalai. Today I will show how to set a prism in its minimum deviation position. So for doing this experiment, we will need a prism like this. So in this prism, you can see there are three rough faces and two transparent faces. So while holding the prism, uh, we need to keep in mind that we will not touch these two reflect reflecting faces of the prism. We will hold the prism with the help of these two rough faces only. Otherwise, our fingerprints may uh, stuck to these reflecting faces. So we will place this prism on the top of the prism table like this so that the rough face of the prism faces to this direction. Here are some concentric circles on the top of the prism table. We will use these circles to make the axis of the prism and the table coincide. So here we have our sodium light source. The beam of light that comes from this source uh, becomes parallel due to this collimator. This collimator basically collimates the light beam coming from the sodium source. Now we will rotate this prism table and look at the image through the prism. So see, uh, whenever I am rotating the prism table, the image, the image of the sodium light is shifting towards left. You can see in this video and you can see at this point, the image stops going towards left and it starts going towards right. See, you can again see that. I am rotating the prism table in one direction. It is going towards the image is going towards left, but at this position, the image stops towards uh, going towards left and starts going towards right. So that position is called the minimum deviation position of that prism. So here you can see at this position, the image changes its direction. At this position, the image changes its direction. So this will be called the minimum deviation position of the prism. So now we will observe this minimum deviation position through the telescope. But before doing that, we need to see the minimum deviation position with bare eyes like this. So I will set the prism again in minimum deviation position, which is. Now to observe the minimum deviation position more precisely, we will use this telescope. So we will bring the telescope in this direction and see the image through this eyepiece. Now you will find the minimum deviation position more precisely uh, with the help of the telescope. So here you can see the image of the slit. So I am rotating the prism table again and you can see the image is shifting toward right direction. But in this position the image stops going towards right and it starts again going towards left. So this position will be called the minimum deviation position of the prism. See, which is this position because here the image, the brightest image that is the yellow one stops going towards left. That is it changes its direction. So here is our minimum deviation position. So our next task will be to bring the crosswire of the telescope to this brightest image that is the yellow one so we will rotate the knob which moves the telescope all right so in this case some movement may occur because the phone is fixed to the telescope so let's see Now in this position, we can see that the image of the slit and the cross wire coincides with each other. So the reading of two verniers in this position will be the reading of minimum deviation of the prism for this position. So in this way, we can find the minimum deviation position of a prism with the help of a spectrometer. After setting the prism table in minimum deviation position, we will lock the prism table with the help of this screw and we will not touch the this screw throughout the whole practical. This prism table will be locked throughout the whole practical. So here are two readings in vernier 1 and 
वन या टू सो दिस रीडिंग विल बी द रीडिंग ऑफ मिनिमम डिविजन फॉर दिस प्रिजम थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग